Hello family, we bless the name of the Lord, we thank him for his goodness. Today, a happy Mother's Day to all the women out there. We are celebrating Mother's Day here in the UK and so it is right that I wish every mother, whether you live in the UK or in any part of the world, where even if Mother's Day is not being celebrated today, I celebrate you. So my focus uh, of prayer for the people of Ukraine today is I'm lifting up all Ukrainian mothers before the Lord. Before I pray, my passage of scripture for today is Proverbs chapter 31 from verse 25 to 31. Strength and dignity are her clothing and her position is strong and secure. And she smiles at the future knowing that she and her family are prepared. She opens her mouth in skillful and godly wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue, giving counsel and instruction. She looks well to how things go in her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, happy, prosperous, to be admired. Her husband also, and he praises her, saying, Many daughters have done nobly and well with a strength of character that is steadfast in goodness but you excel them all. Charm and grace are deceptive and superficial beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord, reverently worshipping, obeying, serving and trusting him with all failed respect, she shall be praised. Give her of the products of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates of the city. Father, we want to thank you for all mothers all over the world as we celebrate Mother's Day. But we also today want to specifically lift up every Ukrainian mother to you. Thank you, God, that it is you who ordained and, and made it so that, Lord God, we will have women playing the role of mothers. And we thank you, Father God Almighty, that you're the one who instituted motherhood. Therefore, every woman who has been able to, Father God, by your divine grace and might to be a mother, to exhibit qualities of a good mother, of a virtuous woman, Father has been able to do so, not of their own free will, not of their own power and might, but by your power, by your wisdom, Lord God. So Father, today, as we lift up Ukrainian mothers, we're praying a special grace and blessing upon their lives. Father God, for some of these mothers find themselves in Ukraine still, Father God Almighty, knowing that God is ongoing war in their nation, Lord God. And some of these mothers have lost children. Some of these mothers, Father God, in this Mothering Sunday, if they're celebrating it too, will be thinking, Father God Almighty, or oh, and grieving their loss, Lord God. But I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will comfort them, Lord. Some of these mothers have lost even husbands, Lord God Almighty. And so, Lord, for those who are grieving today, we pray that, God, your grace will be sufficient to them in the name of Jesus. Father, all those mothers who are having to look after their children or any other children that, the God, they have some form of mothering responsibility over, but are doing so in the face of very dire circumstances. Some, Father God Almighty, do not even have heating. Some, oh God Almighty, perhaps have very little that they have to try as best as they can to ensure that it goes a long way. Some may not even know where their daily bread is going to come from, Father God, for the next few days. So, Father Lord, as we lift up these mothers to you, I pray that, God, whatever their individual needs are, that, God, you will meet them at the point of their need, that you will bring them help from your sanctuary father in the name of jesus so that god you will wipe away the tears of god you will take away the worry you will take away any anxiety that any of them may be having father god and i pray thanking you that your word says oh god that you have ordained that angels will minister even to the saints so father god even if there's any one lord god who can only receive divine intervention if it means you need to send angels father to minister to these 
with mothers, Lord. I pray that let it be so in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus. For mothers of God who are suffering ill health and because of that are not able to adequately show love and care and support, Father God, for their families. I pray that, God, you will extend your healing power over their lives. Release your healing virtues over them in the name of Jesus. The Father God, supernatural healing will break forth amongst these women, Lord God. I pray, Father God, for these Ukrainian mothers who have fled their countries and are living in neighboring countries. Lord God, may you meet them there also at the point of their needs. Whatever their challenges are, visit them, God Almighty, and make help available to them, Lord God. For any mother who has a wayward child and have been trusting that that child will turn over a new leaf. Let this be the season where you will visit their children, where you would cause hope and transformation to come into the lives of their children by your supernatural power that every fear, every worry, every sadness that these women are carrying on account of their wayward children, Father God will be lifted, that you will bless them with your joy, with supernatural joy, O oh God, that you Will put a song of praise on their lips in the name of Jesus for every mother or oh God who has an absentee husband and father God Almighty or perhaps oh God has um, has a husband who or, or a partner father God that is not fully helping them um, with the day-to-day -day financial needs that they have father God in providing for their children Lord I pray that you will lift up their burdens in the name of Jesus and you would also intervene in that situation so that God God Almighty, you will give them hope, you will give them comfort in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father God Almighty, that let the mothers of God Almighty, every Ukrainian mother, experience a special visitation from you, a special outpouring of blessing upon their lives, that they will know that something peculiar, something special has happened to them, Lord. We give you glory, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse in Psalm 106, verse 3. Blessed are they who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. We're personalizing it by saying, I am blessed because I observe justice. I, I act righteously at all times. The Lord bless you. And let's continue to celebrate every woman who... Um, it, whether they be a mother, every woman who has a mothering role over your own life, and let's lift up mothers in, in our own nations and in, to, before the Lord, that the Lord God will give them a special blessing this day. Be blessed, and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>